All right, welcome everybody. We are back. Paul Tran here with Lex Valashvili. Hello, hello. His very first time, right? Live streaming, essentially. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we'll see how it'll go. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, be gentle. <laughs> be gentle with Lex. But everybody give him a warm welcome. Of course, we see some fun names there. Voodoo Val, what's up? Felicia uh, Pablison. Uh, welcome. Again, we have Lex with us. First time, hey day one. Uh, everybody else is just kind of warming up the crowd for Lex Thank today. you, Kathleen. First time here. Just flew in from Russia, actually. Almost. How long have you been in the U.S.? Um, oh, eight. That's when I moved. So it's going to be two, 10 years. 10 years. Wow. Nice. But I did flew, flew in last night. I had to change my flights then. Oh, Just really? Like, yeah. And where do you live? So let's do a little, let's get to know Lex, everybody. And uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, you flew in from where? From Portland. So I live in Portland, Oregon area. I actually crossed the bridge on Washington side, but it's yeah. easy to say Was uh, Portland. Yeah, so you're you're in, um, uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me, Vancouver. Uh, yes, sir. Vancouver. So you don't have like income tax there. Is that right? Um, it's, it's better. Or it's better. Uh, but it's, there's no uh, merchant tax in Portland, in, the, in Oregon, in general. Exactly. So you can cross the... So you could get, like, reap huge Some tax benefits. You guys are learning more more about taxes <laughs> than you need to know. Because there's not, like, a state tax in Portland. There's no tax in Portland. Well, there is uh, quite a bit, except if you want to buy something. Okay, sales tax. Sales so there's tax. no sales... I'm sorry about that. There's no yeah. sales tax. So if something says $8, guess what? It's $8. It's awesome. Yeah, so and then you also get benefits on the other side of it. Yeah. Any big purchases, we're crossing the river. Mm, any big purchases, that's <laughs> awesome. Tax 101 with Lex and Paul. Hey, Kathleen, good to have you. So so that's really cool, man, and we're real, real happy to kind of to, to, to bring you down and uh, to have you show us some things. Let's pick my brain um, a little bit. Yeah, so that's the idea. Uh, again, Portland in the house. Technically, I don't know what part of, but you moved in 08 from Russia. Like, what part of Russia? I lived Not in the Euro well. European part mostly. I lived in, Mo in Moscow for a little bit. Uh, Volgograd used to be Stalingrad. Um, it's quite a big, big city. A lot of people will learn more as World Cup is approaching this summer. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, but yeah, 10 years ago I moved. Thanks, Mark. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, um, my wife is from here, so we, we thought it would be easier for me to move here. Mm -hmm. And since then, we lived here happily ever after. Yeah, happily. And you, you enjoy it, hopefully. It's I good. love it. Yeah, the Portland area, like where you live is like fantastic, you know, and probably a big change from uh, from Russia. So this is really fun because I, we had Pablo, uh, you know, we have sort of Mexico in the house, yeah. and then Italy, and now <laughs> Russia. So this is super fun. But again, full day. Uh, Daniel, we don't, oh, I hope Daniel has an accent. Can we, <laughs> we could click through the schedule real fast if we could again. Uh, this is day one, by the way, on Adobe Live. Scott, good to have you, Grace. So stick with us. Pablo Stanley again, uh, actually grew up in Mexico, be with me. The morning, 9 to 11. Then uh, uh, I, I said Alice, which is wrong, uh, but Lex is also from one to three. Three to five is Daniel Musa. And we will see where he's uh, from as well and get to know him. But a full day of UX, UI design. We'll have spin the and house. Yeah, so let us know where you're from. Oliver from Ontario. I, I like Ontario. Let us know where you are. Brit's in the house. I know it's getting later in Europe, so we appreciate you staying up. So uh, all the creatives just start working, probably. Isn't that funny? That is interesting, because I would do that too. Like, working late at night when everything is kind of, like, quiet, mm -hmm. settle down, especially for you. Right? Yep. With four kids. Yeah. Bedtime, that's where I'm getting more productive. <laughs> that's awesome. So Lex has four kids, married with four kids, and uh, we stole them away for a couple days. And uh, so we, we appreciate you just kind of spending time with us. My wife should be watching. All right. If you're Lex's wife, we want to hear a hello from you. <laughs> hello, hubby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as far away from so as South Africa, Kelsey's uh, in the house. Good to have you here. Bedford, uh, UK, Brits in the house. Nice. Voodoo Val's not too far away. She's a friend of ours. Baltimore, of course, evening there. And uh, <laughs> people do. Too, wife's too, yeah, hello for her, too. Is she in there? Is she? Let no, me know if you see. People telling her hello. <laughs> hey, Lex's <laughs> wife. <laughs> <laughs> 
Adorable. So this is really fun. Again, welcome everybody. And uh, let's dive into this. This is really good. Belarus. Wow, I've never been to Belarus. Miami in the house. Close enough for neighbors. It's true. It's like I think designers work like late at night, and then they like. I feel like designers ought to always like come in to work late. Like developers would come in a little early, and then designers would roll in at like ten when I worked places. It was just like different schedules for different people. Yeah, that's kind of what I know. But you work from home, is that correct? Uh, currently, I work from home most of the time. Oh man. Yeah, sometimes I escape to um, coffee shop or my in-laws' house uh -huh. just to get some quiet time. Right. <laughs> but I work remotely, so I have this. Uh, luxury. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. It's a luxury. So, uh, again, cool. all that luxury wow. for your kids to kind of not bother you uh, and, and break up squabbles that they have with one another. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, go see your mom for this. I'm, I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> Munir's in the house from Morocco. Chicago in the house. Awesome. Let's talk about what we're doing in the stream. As Clemens mentions, what's our plan today? So, uh, UX. We're going to talk about UX. Uh, really fast. I know uh, previous stream I already mentioned, but some of you didn't uh, join earlier. So we'll go really fast from uh, UX flow and what I know f about UX and how I like to work uh, with different clients. And then we'll jump in in Adobe XD and we'll be uh, working on the app. Um, today is going to be uh, from scratch. Um, we kind of functional brief. We'll go through wireframes really quick, and then we'll dive into um, UI, and then and then we'll see how how much we'll make progress in two hours. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. And I know you have you have quite a few slides, but it's it's you know this definitely kind of shows. Obviously, you know what you're doing. I don't even need to. They can search on your name online to kind of find you. I, I really appreciate it. You like we talked about your website, by the way, because I wanted to brag about you and show off your work. And you're like, whoa, 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 <laughs> and that's Let's the sign of a good designer. Like you're actively working for clients. Yes, sir. And some like NDA type stuff. Is that kind of the deal too? Yeah, most of the most of my work in the last four years uh, has been for um, for uh, either uh, startups or some companies, but a lot of this stuff is under NDA, which means I cannot publicly show it unless either we release it already or sometimes you work first for a company and then it didn't go all the pivot. Mm -hmm. And so or sometimes you just don't have time to put anything up just because of the amount of work. Mm -hmm. And now I have to just, I'm limited. I work for a consulting company. Uh, McKinsey out of New York, and then I work for another agency, TopTel, but that's a more of freelance uh, work. Okay, and McKinsey is one of the top uh, consulting agencies in the world, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Lot, in, he just in, told me that earlier. I sound all smart, <laughs> but no, you just told me that. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of it. Um, last year, it was the, the best uh, consulting company in America, number one, and it was the top in in the world as well. Mm, very cool. So well, thanks, cool man. Stuff. I know we're we're kind of stealing you away from them. So I worked in the, in the morning. So oh, good. They don't mind. See, yeah, <laughs> they don't know. They're like, whatever, just get it done. That's what they probably say. Yes, sir. Sawsome, uh, uh, sawsome. Did I just say sawsome? Sawsome, Grace Griffin. <laughs> uh, you, you just said you Alabama in the heart. He, Alabama here. You just submitted maybe something for the challenge. You click on the challenge tab. Read about that. We'll talk about that later because I'm going to kind of dive into your slides. But feel free to check out the challenge tab because that's what she means there. Yeah, yeah, we'll and, get back to it. Um, because I told some people they want to get some prizes, join. <laughs> but for it's UX flow, awesome. <laughs> you should, you should patent it. Um, UX, user experience flow. Um, I got into UX uh, several years ago. Just because you know, I I think there's two, uh, well, maybe three types of uh, designers. Uh, one, they talked in the previous stream, unicorns who are just, you know, have one thing and they're really good at it, and they just do design. And I have some friends who are just incredible designers, and but they don't go any left or right from design. Then I think there's designers who are uh, stepping into development as well. And it helps uh, in uh, many areas, I believe, just to understanding how de how developers work. And this live stream oftentimes can be hard, and it helps when you understand some of the languages or if you code, code yourself. And uh, the third type, which I uh, put myself into, that's where uh, design uh, correlates with, with marketing. 
because my, my second bachelor back in Russia was advertising and public relations, so marketing is something I'm really interested in. Okay. And um, I think that's kind of the push, uh, was my final push into UX world, just because UX uh, makes you understand user a mm-hmm. lot. Uh, and, you know, it's uh, it helps to know who you're designing it for rather than just designing it, you know, kind of in the, in the vacuum. Um and we'll go through the you'll you'll see that even though it's a design uh, user experience designer as a as a role, it involves a lot of things which you can see we you would consider marketing do and a lot of firm, firms do like marketing departments do this. Um, but UX flow, you know, um, for me, uh, uh, like very very uh, important from from beginning. I understand business goals and technical sp- uh, specialties uh, of any projects. If, for example, I'm working on um, with the new startup, they come to me and they say, hey, we need a uh, new app or redesign an app. Um, before everything else, I'll ask, what are your business goals? What are you trying to achieve? Why do you need this app? Uh, why do you need to redesign this app? How how you think this will affect or how you, would you like this affect um, your business direction and business goal? Um, the competitive analysis uh, report it's something that I do a lot in um, in the consulting world as well. Uh, it's just understanding what your competitors are doing, um, and it's not the purpose. It's not just to copy what they're doing. Uh, the the purpose is to see where everybody at, um, because you know some people might be really good at something, and you can just learn from that. Um, you know, there's a really good d- documentary uh, which is called, I think it's uh, um, Everything Is a Remix. Oh, oh, I love that. Everything is a remix. Ah, oh, so good. And they have an updated version, too, a couple of years ago, I think. And basically, you know, like, um, Beatles were not the ones first creating those those um, you know, types of music. Or Apple was not the first coming up with a personal computer. Yeah. Um, and so you can just learn from somebody who is doing something in specific areas, mm-hmm. adjust it. Uh, to your needs, and this will just uh, and even just like forward. recreate it. I mean, back in the day with like the old masters, they had understudies that would just paint exactly like them. Yeah, and it was like, hey, just paint this. So there's always t- a tough time to like figure out who who was painted by what was painted by a student versus the master uh-huh. of that like house, if you will. And it was literally like, hey, just copy this. I think that's a good thing to do. Just like, hey, just see if I can recreate this. Yeah, not to call it your own. You know, I would almost think of it as like almost like fan art. Yeah. You know, I love there's so much cool stuff out there. I'd love to recreate and give them full credit because, you know, it's, yeah. I want to be some people. So <laughs> That's true. And as you know, some people might be just uh, at their beginning of their design journey. This is a really good exercise. Uh, you know, back in the days, like 10 years ago, whatever, like eight years ago. Yeah, you, you see something and you try to recreate it. And as you said, you don't claim it as your own, uh-huh. but you just get the skill inside of you, which helps you to um, to create something your own, establish the style, and recreate some things yeah. later on. That's really good. And we ha- we do have uh, like thanks chat. We have some awesome people. Yes, uh, Voodoo Val saying Cali hype. There's also Voodoo Val hype. She's a really good artist, by the <laughs> way, and illustrator. Nice. So yeah, let's continue. So we've got all this stuff. We got the. Personas and I think uh, Alice uh, Alice, as Alice. Is it Alice saying yes, that correctly sir. went over through those the personas and mm-hmm. and some of that. So this is really good. Yep, yep. And uh, maybe we could always share these slides with everyone. Absolutely. Yep. So. Yep. That's the beauty of community. <sighs> Let's go real quick. Uh, yeah, I will uh, just skip some of them. You know, uh, quantum research. This this is where you get like deeper in marketing. Mm-hmm. Um, then sitemap introduction, uh, informational architecture, more of uh, um, those Ooh. things. Sorry about that. So uh, Clemens mentioned something that's like, what, n- what are some of the th- what are some tips that maybe we wouldn't see on a slide that we should know about being a UX designer, a UI designer? Like maybe something people don't talk about that, like something you didn't know about the job that you actually kind of wish you knew. Um. I think that's, I don't know if people are talking about it as much, but I, it's, it's always keeping in mind that you design enough for yourself. And, and sometimes it's easy just like I have a style of, of apps or something I like to do. I have a style of architecture I like uh-huh. to have in the app. 
but you need to understand the user and always keep user in mind who you're creating it so for. It's, yeah, it's not necessarily for you. You might not be the end user. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So put yourself aside. Hey, yeah. Got yeah. it. Humble and always keep it in mind because even in the beginning you might think about it and then you get into UI and then it's kind of, you know, maybe overpowered a little bit. Um, but just always keep, keep it in mind. You design it now for yourself but for the end user. Mm-hmm. No, that's really good. What's up, uh, Talita from Brazil? Uh, Ontario in the house. T Temecula. I bet they have a worm right now. Uh, uh, I don't know where that is. So many places. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Going back. Uh, UX wireframes. We'll get back to it. Um, today, uh, interactive prototypes we'll mention, especially with Adobe XD. You know, it becomes really, really easy to create those prototypes. Visual design, more you know, meat on the bones, and style guide specification and developments. I think Alicia again, uh, she mentioned that she was going to be doing a style guide or some some form. Um, we'll have some. We'll mention it in our design today, but we won't go into the because style guide on its own, you know, it can be just massive machine. Yeah, exactly. And you and it, yeah. So continue. Yeah, yeah. This is the last one. It's the usability testing as you design something, especially if you work on a, on a continuous stream, mm -hmm. it's always important to test because you still uh, a lot of the time run from assumption mm -hmm. and it's good to test and then make adjustment as you go. Yeah. That's it. That's good. Done and done. You are now a UX UI designer. Congratulations, everybody. Yeah, you can update <laughs> your, your resume. <laughs> Please don't. Um, but it's a good direction to go to, for, towards. It's really um, valuable, I think skill to have. Yeah, totally good. And it's fun that we have you from, uh, you know, design background, but also an advertising and marketing background, because that's your, you got a degree in that? I got a well. one year till bachelor's degree, and then I moved, I left it and moved to the United States. Okay. You're so like, I became ah, enough of this. Yeah. I'm going to hop over. I'm going to check out the U.S., see what his uh, <laughs> has to offer. <laughs> So yeah. awesome! From Russia to Portland to San Francisco now as well. So, and I brought my weather with me. Yeah, it's a, it's raining here, everyone. Um, but maybe it's raining where you are. I don't know if the weather's good or bad. We're gonna have giveaways. We have a design challenge. We'll give away some fancy socks. Just so you know, uh, you can see right here. Again, we'll give these away in about uh, forty minutes. So we try to give you what we can, and nice. then also we will also have this fun design challenge right here. So I'll just kind of click through this real fast uh, if you're not aware, but essentially I know it gets kind of confusing. There's two of me on the screen, but uh, it's this challenge tab right here. Just scroll down and uh, you're gonna be making a social media app. We just need three screens. Use that dark UI, uh, basically a starter file, super easy. Go with the starter file, uh, you know, sort of make it your own publish out that link, share that URL through the form, and we will uh, be reviewing those as we get them in. So that's the idea. We'll give away one year Creative Cloud to the winner, whoever um, whoever Lex selects, actually, um, mm -hmm. no pressure. in an hour and a half. <laughs> so that's the plan. It's snowing Carolina, I hope, it's, I hope you get some win some socks if it's snowing there. Mm -hmm. We'll do what we can. It's snowing so. in New York today. Snowing in New York as well. Yeah. Oh, man. Good day to stay in and watch some live streaming. Exactly. So we could uh, switch gears and kind of take a look at your screen and dive into some of this, shall we? Let's do this. Um, well, I, I guess probably before jumping into XD, I have the this file. Um, brief okay. from a client, uh, which I was creating this on my plane yesterday. Um, so we needed an idea for the app, um, you know, something to create, something to go from. And, um, you know, for me, yeah. parenting is, is a topic really close, you know. <laughs> I, maybe I'm missing my parent, my, my kids already. Uh, so I oh, decided. Oh, you're a good dad. I am. Uh, I like it. Even when you're away, you're like, I'm going to work on a parenting app. What a good guy. <laughs> ah, love well, it. well, to be completely honest, I also have an Instagram page, Daily Parenting, where I um, just share everything on parenting related. Oh, you do. So, you know, so you never know, maybe it will turn into an actual app. Uh huh. 
I'm into it. Um, daily parenting app. That's the uh, you know temporary name. Maybe you can you guys can come up with a name. Uh, they will be great. We can just uh, just cut mm -hmm. some in chat, right? Yeah, so, and let's kind of, we can go over the purpose, but yeah, you might be looking for a name a name for the app. That's perfect. I'd like to kind of know more about it or like what our plans are for this bad boy. Mm -hmm. What are our plans Shit. for it? So yeah, let's get it as large as possible so everybody can. Here there we, we go. go. So the purpose is to help parents. It's kind of like the assistant for parents to help parents go through the day with the, uh, um, Mm, confidence, confidence and plan uh, to equip them with necessary knowledge, ideas, and encouragement to create and personalize daily game plan. So whatever we can come up with, uh, what will help parents, if any parents watching us live, uh, mm -hmm. give us ideas as well. But I was thinking, you know, sometimes uh, tips of what to do with kids, activities, where to go, um, mm -hmm. you know, what to buy, something, something along those lines um, could be helpful. Okay. Um, we'll just do iOS app um, today, um, just so it's gonna be easier for us. Having chat iOS on. devices, yeah. Um, chat bot, uh, bot integration, something um, I thought would be kind of an, a little bit unique on um, collecting. I don't know. I just like Paul Brophy's like you know parental <laughs> guidance, like PG. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a fun play off of those two words. Yeah, yeah, would be yeah. Good. Going this direction. Good call. Like Keep it. them coming. Keep the ideas coming. We love to see chat active and <laughs> get ideas from you because so many good ideas come from. That's brainstorming. <sighs> yeah, all about it. Um, so chat box would be just uh, getting information from people, you know, because on personal assistance related apps, it's, it, the, the more information about the user you have, the easier it is to curate uh, the content, but it's mm -hmm. not always fun to get this information, especially, you know, like, like application form. So chatbot could be something um, interesting and unique, kind of in the interactive form. And then we can dive in. I did a little bit, you know, thinking ahead of time. Um, I spent three hours in the airport yesterday waiting for <laughs> my flight, getting delayed, delayed. Oh, no. And before I decided to switch it, and I flew into Oakland. Ugh. And then just took an Uber here. I'm sorry. I was in Portland yesterday too. I took the 5:30 a.m. flight out. Uh, no, I was going it to was the direct. Evening. Wow. Okay. I was supposed to have direct to San Francisco, but they were from 9 p.m. They pushed it to 12. Ah. Uh, oh man. So, like, so you uh, had to change it to Oakland. Yep. Yep. Uh, so I had some time. Yeah. To think thread. Let's just say that. Um, business goal: collect data. You know. Not a secret, most of the apps, they mm -hmm. like to collect data and that's what uh, makes it beneficial. Provide value, obviously, um, become, become a daily tool because the, the more you keep your users coming back to your app, uh, the better, most of the cases. And uh, classify interest uh, and patterns. Uh, this could be, you know, later in, down the road, something when marketing comes in and, you know, either it's some paid ads or whatever, but it's, it's, it's good to, mm -hmm. to think through those things. Uh, we create, like I created some personas um, just to understand who we designed it for. Lauren, 20 years old, mother of three kids, um, husband works, so she'll stay home. Kids, ha kids have uh, sports after school activities almost daily. Um, then Kirk, um, so I wanted to specifically have, you know, kind of gender neutral app. Kirk, 32 years old, father of two, three boy, uh, uh, three years old boy, seven years old girl, realtor, wife works part time. He's a Portland Timbers and a Blazers fan <laughs> by accident. Uh, likes to spend time <laughs> with family and do things outside. So those, um, why I added those personas is um, the main reasons is as you as you will be designing the app, we a it will affect our um, should affect our um, UX pattern. Um, for example, like are those users, um, you know, if if we design it for 56 years old, then UX pattern should be different rather than if we'll be designing for for teenagers. For example, some people are more adaptive to technology and to change this technology. Um, also, um, the lifestyle um, should should define of how do we place some of the elements uh, on the page. 
what's how how we will we, we, we prioritize um, some of the things and categories because as a user, UX UI designer a lot of the times at least in my experience uh, when companies come to you they rely on your experience and knowledge and hopefully um, and at least again my experience a lot of the times I have say in in even moving things around um, in their um, you know in their structure informational structure just because they had they live in this app and they you know kind of sometimes going so deep that um, they lose sense of um, what's what's in their users important what's more important high level priority or lower mm -hmm. and so as a user experience designer you have to you have a say in in organizing those things and knowing as much about the user helps um, and then competitive landscape analysis, uh, nice one to learn, individual features, but not solid product uh, example. Um, so it was give us, you know, just kind of plain field. Um, in some other uh, instances, you'll see more competitive landscape. So this might vary. I like it. And thank you so much for the suggestions coming through. I'm. I'm, I'm writing them down, okay, basically, good. for just the names. So just keep ideas coming for this parenting app. Somebody asks, you know, like, how long would it take for you to become, like, a UX designer full-time? That's a hard question. It, it is. It varies. Yeah, it varies. It can, you know, it can be 10 years for some people. Um, I didn't consider my, myself UX um, up to three years ago, I would say. Even though I think, like, on the back... I was doing a lot of work of UX designer, uh, but just just put in this title, it was I don't know barrier, or I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, it but it, yeah, it, it varies. Yeah. I was just chatting with uh, my Uber driver this morning uh -huh. uh, that uh, like if education is crucial in this role um, or, or more its portfolio and experience. And again, I think it's kind of related. Your experience might be you know. 10 years, by, but your portfolio might not, might not be that big in knowledge. Um, but I, some people in two, three years, they might learn and they're quicker learning and they have this eye and, and mind for this. And you know, you can be up and running. Or some people might be already been doing all of the work of UX designer, but not calling this one. Yeah, and the thing is, is like, so Joel says he's coming from a graphic designer for over 10 years. Like five years ago, nobody was doing, there was no UX UI. So like anybody saying that they have 10 years of UX, that might be true, <laughs> but like usually it's, it's people that have only been doing it less than five years, I feel, or the people that are really good, that have the design background, yep. that have been doing it for 10 years. Here we go. Right? Same I mean, thing. Yeah, so... Well, it's, you have 10 years experience, so that's that's awesome. Yeah, well, graphic design is also like a pretty wide um, range of things included in it. And so mm -hmm. if you'll be doing, if you were doing like a um, print, it's a little bit different story. But if you'll be doing, um, or if you have been doing websites or apps or anything um, digital product related, then um, you're in a good place to transition into UX. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and Voodoo Bell does ask like how many are new to, or just learning UX design. So, you know, Margarita, Sheik, a lot of people, like everybody's learning this. Yeah. Uh, Claudia, and again, I, that's why I think, I'm glad we have these design challenges because it just kind of gives you a place to start, you know, with a project, with a deadline, and just see what happens. So that's hey, awesome. Exactly, exactly. That, that's the, my, my advice would be for anybody who wants to join or become UX designer, um, learn and read as much as you can. Mm -hmm. You don't, uh, in my opinion, you don't have to specifically go to school, uh, but l learning, it's the main skill you need to have. And then getting projects and applying everything you learn onto those projects. Mm -hmm. Then getting next project. And so like, like this challenge, you know, you can just mm -hmm. dive in and do something, something and put it up. Or you can think a little bit through and think, okay, social, um, mm -hmm social uh, media app, right? Or mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. That's the challenge today. It's a social media app. So you could, like, you could redesign Twitter might be an idea or something like that. It could even be, I've seen that a lot in portfolios, like a redesign of X, mm -hmm. which is, like, really fun to look at. Like, yeah. I know what it is, and you're saying this is what it could be. It's, like, super fun to check out. That's so. what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Ooh, yes, I like it. We, got, we have plans. <laughs> but right now, we are, we are going to get our parenting on. Let's 
any, I want to know if there's parents out there too, I'm sure there are. Yep, yep. Um, so wireframes, we'll create some wireframes first. Um, then we'll dive into color palettes and UI. So, you know, going back to the slides, you saw there's 10 points of UX flow, which normally with the, with the client, I would go through. Obviously we have just two hours, even less now. <laughs> So we'll skip a lot, we'll assume a lot, um, and kind of take little pieces just to show you as like a more practical thing. Um, but again, those, like I just wanted to make, mention that those things are important. As I work on a client, I'll, I'll never dive into just, just UI and just start doing things. Um, so keep yeah. those in mind. That's good. Get some UI, got some pages. Yep, so pages will focus on Overview the homepage. Overview of the day, important notifications. Um, all right, I had to copy this from my text, so it's kind of messed up a little bit. Thank you, Joel. Finds the Adobe Live sessions to be very informative. Oh, Good to hear. Well, we, we, we do our best, so uh, always open us to suggestions. All right, shall we dive into... Yeah, you got a lot squared away. I'm, I'm still taking names for this parenting app. Right now I have Kids Connect with a Z and a K. <laughs> <laughs> house Rules, Parental Guidance. Oh, I like those. Uh, so I like House Rules, it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, I want House Rules with a Z. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, and I like Parental Guidance. I almost want it to be PG, but it's like parental guide or something like that, but PG as the initials. It could be a really uh, good feel for our logo as well with the PG. Yeah. Some fun. fun. S strong. Everybody gets it. Kind of like what PG Toddly. Mm -hmm. That's a that's so popular to do. It's like a this is a new trend, by the way. Leo is the Todd.ly, Toddly and like plantly. Uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know, it's just such like design.io type things. Um, and another trend is to eliminate the vowels from words. Mm -hmm. So parent would, you be, would be P-R-N-T or something. And that would be the name of it, parent, P-R-N-T. Because yeah. you know that's not taken by any. You mm -hmm. have the URL available. Yeah, yep. I parent another suggestion. And the fam, the, the family. Writing them down. Nice. Baby sock. Yeah, thanks, Tim, for the links, but please don't judge. As we mentioned earlier, <laughs> uh, I haven't touched my website in, I would say, we were six just, years, five years. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of work and clients uh -huh. and coming in, yeah. I wouldn't see my kids if I would be even focusing on my website as well. Yeah. I've always said that. It's like, if, you, if your website's up to date, do you, like, not have enough work to do? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Ooh, matriarch. Oh. That's kind of interesting. So I'll, I'll keep track of this. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so uh, we'll dive into some practical things. We have hour and a half, so we'll see what can we um, do with that. I didn't I didn't want to stretch it to um, for tomorrow because tomorrow, we, as I said, we want, like oh, I just want to give all, all three days uh, give different perspective on different projects you as a designer might have. Today is, a, is an app from scratch. Tomorrow is going to be a redesign of existing app. And third day is going to be uh, taking the web um, and turning it into an app. Nice. And both of those redesign and the third day, I'm pretty sure you know those. So it'll be interesting to see um, what you think as well. Okay, so I'll just start with uh, uh, kind of a sketches in the map. Um, we'll start, I usually start um, just kind of creating this map um, of screens, how I think it will go. And, you know, in the beginning, you just kind of, just to identify what and where it will be placed. And later on, it grows into a huge tree, but at least in, in the beginning, it will give us reference um, to the direction. Mm. I'm into it. Guide you is another one. Hello, Ubed. Good to have you here. Uh, hello, hello, Princess Jasmine. Has she put some crowns in there? <laughs> so, Roger that, Princess. 
the topic today is a parenting app. We're using Adobe XD. The topic for you as part of the challenge is under that challenge tab. So uh, again, just kind of, I can reference that, no problem. Just so you can see it right here. Feel free, challenge tab. And uh, there's all your directions. You're making a social media app. So feel free to do that as we work on our parenting app. So, Daddy-o, that's kind of fun. Ah. Kathy, D-A-D dot I-O. Wouldn't be exclu included, excluding, excluding well, moms though? Moms, yeah, yeah, that's true. But I like the name, so. Good, I mean, it's still clever, yeah. Mm -hmm. Daddy-o and mommy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, shout out to you. You're fantastic. Kathy, are you, are you a mom also? Oh, Mama Mia, Mama <laughs> Mia. There you go, you have your mom's version. <laughs> so we're into, uh, into two, uh, two apps. Okay, so um, as a structure, I like to uh, start with walkthrough. Not every app has it, but I think everyone should. So walkthrough, or um, sometimes it's called an onboarding screen. So basically every time you, for, you open the app for the first time, it's a couple of slides we're kind of explaining what the app is about or directing and what you can do through the app. And um, kind of a good practice, common practice is to have around four screens, whether your last screen would be uh, last screen to, to, the, to the landing page or splash screen. Some people call it and landing page. I like to call it landing just because I guess uh, I came from web world. Mm -hmm. um, in, in the web, and especially in marketing, splash screen or splash page it's, it has different meaning. Um, but landing, that's where every user lands uh, second time or every other time uh, they open the app um, or after they go through the wax room. Through. Um, after the landing, usually I separate it into two flows. One would be uh, sign up flow, uh, assuming this is the first user, first time user. And another one will be sign in, where users just uh, with existing accounts signing into the app. Um, and this is not the must list, uh, because as I said, walkthroughs, many apps don't have them. And also uh, many apps don't uh, require you to sign in or sign up in general. Oh, here we go. thank you. And so um, these screens might be missing as well, or they might come up later on, uh, but it's still good to have this structure. Um, yeah, very good. And sign in. I know usually sign in follows by the good password. And Password reset. Sign up. We'll include uh, social. Sign in. Oh, sign up. Screen. And success. <laughs> Mariel says not house. Mary, are you, are you like a mom or something? Because I could imagine that's what parents called their houses. It's a nut house. <laughs> it's just crazy. Help me get this under control. Uh, first of all, it's nut house. Can you read that name? So is it Anna? Uh-huh. Is, is it yep. Anna? Yep. Anna. Is, is that... Is, what, what, is that Russian? Uh, yeah. So it's definitely from Soviet. Anna, where are you from? I assume it's, it's 11, Russia, Russia so. Ukraine. Well, eleven thirty. Well, it could be European part. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, mm, I might be wrong, but I assume it, it's Russia, European part of Russia, uh, because okay. we just changed time zones and recently they canceled it in Russia. Oh, I'm from Belarus. Here we go. Ah, Belarus. Close enough. Cool. Welcome. Good to have you. Yeah, especially it being so late. So. Really appreciate that. We'll try to use our inside voice. <laughs> try to keep it down. Chile in the Chile house. In hey, house. we can. 
It's the sick. evening there. Just having some, I don't know, whatever. Is it? What's the time difference? I thought we're on the same uh, coastline. I bet you anything, they're at least an hour ahead of us or two. Okay. I mean, we could. I could totally be wrong, but it's it's kind of shifts over a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I could be wrong. Catalina, let's let's. Hear. I'm still writing down these these name ideas. Um, Simon, you can. What is it? The Femme. Stockholm. Stockholm. All right. Super late there as well. So good to have you here, especially the parents. Shout out to all the parents in chat. If you are a parent, let me know. Let us know and you can help us come up with an app name. I'm writing these down. Maybe we can give one of the socks to parent, one of the parents. We can, that's gonna take the uh, the Gusbot 5000. Adobe Live gives pulls the name. So he's the one that you we need a bribe or they need a bribe, <laughs> but I certainly hope it's a parent. Uh, Armenian House. Armenia, nice. Good to have you here. Very cool. It's a really good variety of group. Okay. Um, going back to our screens, and this would be our home screen. That's where we get in. It's something the most commonly uh, displayed screen of the app. Thank you, Dana, as a, a parent, grandparent, and great grandparent. Thank you so much for joining us. Kathy is also a parent of four like you, so she knows what it's like. Shout out awesome. to you, two teenager boys. Moscow. What's up, Costa? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go. The let's make this app full screen. Or like you, you don't need to show the menu and stuff on the side. There we go. How how particular are we? Wow. <laughs> 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 All right, Lauren's a, a parent of a, of cats and a dog. All right. It works. We'll probably be uh, focusing on the human parents today for this uh, app. Two boys, two girls. What do you have? Uh, you have? my oldest, five years old, is a boy. And then I got three princesses, oh. four, two, and six months. Four, two, and six months. Yep. Wow. So the largest gap in age is uh, two years. Less. Less uh, than most two of years. them between year and eight months to year and ten months. So you have five, four kids under f five and under. Yes. Wow. Yes. At least for the next couple months. Wow. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> two Westies. What does that mean? George says I'm a parent of two Westies. Too. What does that even mean? Uh, my Maybe. first guess would be it's a dog breed. Uh, West something, that's where my first. Oh, like two dogs, like two canines of sorts. Correct me if I'm wrong. Cat parents are also welcome. Good to have you here. Yes, who needs sleep, Kathy? <laughs> Lex knows the lack of sleep because we sucked him in here. We said, hey, you know, we know you have four kids, five and under. We're going to make you design for us. So, <laughs> so, 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 so. so Oh, West Highland Terriers. Okay. West Maybe. All right. I'm still coming up with names. So uh, and you do that, by the way. You work on that for a little bit. I know you. I feel like you need a second to kind of make some things happen. I'm going to show mm -hmm. a couple things, if you don't mind. I'm just going to switch over to my computer. You can see it right here. And uh, for the design challenge, uh, you'll be using this style guide, this dark style, style guide. So feel free to take from it color ty typography, icon controls, these drop down menus, all sorts of things. Um, I think for Lex, and this is probably what I do because he's probably going to have maybe um, like some input text fields. I don't want to have to necessarily design those from scratch. Uh, and I can go in and sort of like use or get UI kits. And Lex knows all about this. I'll let you kind of do your thing. and. Think through whatever you need to, but uh, you know wireframes and this more UI kids links out to about five others. Uh, I opened up one of them, uh, happens to be what this Navigo UI kit, which again, if we take a look at it, I want some text fields. You can see them right here, pretty straightforward, and there's a number of others. I like doing this by the way because I opened up the wires one, so you get to. Again, wireframes right there. That'll open up this wires. Check this out. Like, I love this. Notice how it's mostly blue. Uh, that's one of the best. Yeah, and do you and because like this has kind of like everything we need. Mm -hmm. If I open up the assets panel and select edit, I'm thinking yes, I want to use it, but I want to make this like pink. I can just keep in mind. Guess what? That's a global color. As I change 
that from red to orange into say a darker green, whatever the case may be. So again, super cool that those are global colors. That's the wires UI kit. And again, from there, I can actually take a look at like the sign up. So right here, sort of creating, everything's like right here. So this is what I'd use. So yeah, anyway, just showing off. All right. Okay. Any questions, let me know. Arturo, welcome back, my friends. I'm switching over to your computer, Lex. Fantastic. So I have basic structure of what I want to focus on. I'll have home screen. I'll have a uh, calendar. I'll have shop um, because kids require a lot of shopping. <laughs> um, and also for an app, you know, most of the time you have to do or you want as an app creator, you want to get paid or some kind of find some kind of revenues. So mm -hmm. this would be one shop, of them. Yeah. And profile, um, I was thinking to put another, um, to have settings and notifications, but I might just uh, put them under profile just to save time and have uh, less screens. So this would be the mm, really quick overview. Uh, probably by the end of the stream, you'll see that it's gonna be dramatically different. And I, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. So, I would guess that um, if this would be a real project uh, for a real client, um, right now I have 15 screens, I'm just trying to kind of think. Um, I would say I would have close to uh, 60 plus screens. So all of these fields would be um, with filled with different screens, variations of. Um, you know, home page and all of the possible um, variations of mm, notifications, um, as you said, fields, and then all the fields, uh, stages, field, empty, error, and whatnot. Um, so just to give you an overview of the app would have at least 60, around 60 plus screens overall wow. designed. But we'll maybe focus on this four, hopefully. Um, wireframes, let's see which, what should we do. Uh, UI kits. Uh, we're doing iOS, so let me just open iOS. Uh, I should, I have it. it Ask me to download it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think like notification. Oh, sweet. Yeah, get it. You getting it? I thought I had it. Maybe it's in the see, like, yeah, I have no, several computer computers. He does. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, two questions for you. How many computers did you bring with you today? Uh, two laptops. At least. How many? How many power supplies did you bring? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero power supplies. I'm just picking on you, but that's me. i like, how many have I bought? Over? I, I leave them here. Ah, so, and they're expensive. Apparently good. That's a good name too. Rocky, yeah. that gets us out of the, the dadly, you know, scenario. So thank you. Mm -hmm. I think notifications would be key for this because I'd be like, I would just want to get a notification like, do you know where your kids are right now? I'm like, <laughs> I don't. Where are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's uh, like, don't freak me out, notifications. Uh huh. Especially if you're a helicopter or somewhat of helicopter as me. Uh, My five years old go to school with a phone watch. So every uh, on the break he calls me and lets you know what he let me know what he's eating. Oh, uh, your five judge. year old. On yes. his phone, his watch? Yeah, it's it's kind of a watch, um, but he basically clicks, and there's me and my wife, and he can call us, and we can call him. Nobody else can reach him but us, and I see what's going on, where he's at. Oh, wow. And he calls you and tells you what he's having for lunch? Yeah, usually on the break, he's like, yeah, we just had break. Uh, he's in kindergarten. He's like, yeah, what, what, what are you eating? Well, I'm eating this and this and this. Like, as long as you're eating, eating, I'm good. And as long as it's food. That's adorable. Uh, anybody else out here, isn't that adorable? 
<laughs> I'm calling you from kindergarten, telling you about a snack that he's having. <laughs> yeah. Oh, adorable. Why do I not have kids? You should. I need to get. I need to get on that. Uh, uh, maybe we'll have this app by that by that time. <laughs> the app will be done by the time. Maybe I'll have my kids so be finished by then. Uh, so Rocky, thank you. Apparently, is good. Hold my hand is adorable. Got that from Oliver. Oh, I like that. Super cute. Mm. I like house rules, so I kind of have my top four personally. Chill fam. All right. Is the design in a different format? Bring up. Yeah, Ooh, one. Guardian Angels. Mm. I mean, that's, that's so serious, though. Yeah. That's. I like Hey Fam, Rod. Rod, that's pretty good. Because it's playful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Val. 40 minutes left for the challenge deadline. And in about 10 minutes, we'll do a fun giveaway. So, 10 minutes, we'll have a giveaway of just some fancy socks for your children, or your pets, or for you. One for the right, one for the left foot. And uh, that's happening in 10 minutes. So, yes, welcome, Gustav. Uh, what did you miss? We'll go ahead and start from the beginning. Just kidding. <laughs> Gustav just got here. If you could just say everything that you've done for the last 50 minutes. Just ooh, joking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Actually, you can. You should be able to scrub back and kind of dive into this. Yeah, yeah. DAP. Zero is <laughs> like dad app. DAP. D-A-P-P. -P. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. Uh, Pablo son, I would love for you to win those socks as well. So you got about nine minutes and just uh, hang out with us and essentially be active in chat, especially when we say go. And again, we're making a parenting app. These are the names that I have so far. So while you're kind of doing that, you're doing a great job, by the way. Uh, these are my uh, app suggestions so far, app name suggestions. So apparently hold my hand, house rules, parental guidance, ta guidance, toddly. So these are these are my top ones. We don't want to we don't want to have anything too mom or dad specific. That's why like apparently is up at the top, and uh, mammy plan is down here. I love Daddyo. If it was just geared for yeah for uh, you know dads, then that would be awesome. But thank you, Rocky Oliver, Kath, Catherine, Paul, Leo. Great names. Good stuff. Parent Tech is a name. Yes, that is a name. So yeah, I've I've been filtering the names. So maybe you've submitted one that didn't make the cut. I'm I do apologize, but I did that for a reason because I sometimes fake like I know what I'm doing. I just like exercising. Yeah, don't Val, don't you love Daddyo? It's so good, but it's again, it's you want it to be used for moms too, so. Mommyo, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's already icons as well. Of all the icons, let's just use placeholders for now. And Nanny Gogo. -Go. Mm. Guardian. Parental. I, I parent, anytime you have I parent, I feel like that was like, that was a thing for a bit and it feels a little dated to me. I hate to judge. You know what I'm saying? Cause there was the iMac and iPhone and iPad. That was like a whole time. And now it's kind of less about the eyes in front of things. But it's I true. I'll have to agree. Really wrong. And plus I know um, Instagram name is taken by parent. Oh, <laughs> the plus he knows the name is taken. Sorry. <laughs> Parental Oscar, okay. Parentel, 
Ooh. That's tough. Ooh, I like that. Parent hell. Parent hell. <laughs> parent hell. <laughs> I like parent hell because it's like you're telling. Parent hell. Yeah. Right? I heard parent hell. Yeah, I know you did. Because oh, okay. you have four kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that bad. I know no. what you heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a big advocate. Parent, okay, parent, hell. Oh, your wife's gonna kill you. For, <laughs> <laughs> that's Lex's recommended. Uh. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Uh. <laughs> Tattletales. <laughs> parent, hell. I don't know if we'll get more, much downloads with this name. Okay, well, right now I have at the top is like, How about per, we could do something like parental guide and then we just do the PG as the logo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kiddish. I think it's fun that we have such an international audience. Kid wise is good. Thank you, Jim. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I'm moving that one up. It's it's helpful to just to see how words translate and if it has a if it you know resonates internationally we're onto something. Mm, agreed. Because again, it's three days. We have such an international group. Hopefully they'll stick with us for all three. I know it's late, and three late nighters in a row might be hard. Yeah, but it's doable. Yeah, just, Proven it, just by shift, us. shift your schedule. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dujong, Dujong uh, the videos will be uh, available uh, after we're done today. Just send a send a small check to Paul Tranny at 27229 East Nova Circle, and I'll send you those videos. Or you could just click on the um, replays. Technically, they're available. Excuse me. Just go to uh, Adobe's Creative Cloud YouTube page. That's where you'll find them. Parenta unit. Oh, Hamed, clear from Egypt. Thank you, my friend. Just to recap, we have Lex. Joining us, tore him away from his family, and he's he's already kind of choked up about it. So we decided to make a parental app. <laughs> his wife's kind of not happy that you know she's left with the kids. He's like, I'll, I'll make an app for you. That's what he said. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. Um, it's an app that's going to have sort of give you recommendations for uh, shopping, uh, notes and advice. I would love it if there is like a chat segment. Like I would, as a parent, I'd love to be able to contribute and say. You know, two things, maybe. I don't know. Like, as a parent, I want to be able to recommend items. Maybe they're already recommended. Well, I don't know. Me. Just, like, something within the context of me. There we go. Boom. Feedback. Thank you. Great things. Great mind things to like. But um, some minds forget about it. <laughs> Ooh! That's a dig. <laughs> he just did a little dig at me. I like it. <laughs> Oh, you mean this, Paul? Feedback? Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Though. That's good. Yeah. Uh, but I almost forgot about it. Uh, <laughs> so we will <laughs> add another screen. Here, well, I'm thinking if I should go with my original idea and put settings under profile or if I should separate it into a um, separate window. Mm. Well, let's just go with that for now. Um, <sighs> Parent app control. Tot tracker. Good, Caroline. Ooh, guardian. I like, kind of like guardian. And uh, 
we are kind of coming upon the what top of the hour bottom of the hour i don't know however you say it top of the hour uh, if you know what by. that means time flew by yeah it does we're an hour in with the one and all lex valishvili from portland from Russia, by way of Portland, but you've been here for 10 years, so it's good. My last name is Georgian, actually. Your what? My last name is Georgian. It's Georgian, huh? I, I saw Armenians joining us. Oh. So. Somebody from, from Georgia, too. Mm hmm Very cool. So yeah, it is uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time here. Wherever you are, thank you for, so much for joining us. We're gonna do a giveaway for these fantastic socks right now. So we'll do a giveaway. If you don't mind there, Adobe Live Team. Yes, that's right. Not only this one, but also this one. So two socks, not these exact ones. Don't worry, they'll be nice and cleaned, nice and neat. Send them to you. So just be active in chat. Be like, hey, I want those socks. I would love to have them. Sock hype in the chat. Sock time. That's right, a pair of socks. What about this uh, social media apps? Any coming in yet? Oh, I'll take a look at that too. That's a great idea. I'll take a look. Yeah, Kathy, yeah. All you need to do is give us some hype in the chat and that's how you enter to win these socks that Lex will swear by. <laughs> I don't know. This is probably the first time you've seen him, huh? Uh, I seen them before in the left live stream. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm familiar with them. Oh say. shoot, we ordered the wrong ones. These are PX socks. That's the, that's the worst joke you'll get from me today. I'm sorry. <laughs> so bad. I almost bought it. Cause it's upside down. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for entering. There's hype in the chat, as Alexander says. So, the Adobe Live. Gusbot 5000 goes through, does the background check, picks a winner, sees how many, who has the highest bribe for him. Actually does it purely, he, you gotta make sure you're signed in for once. And we have it, it's Bjorn Ingar, Bjorn Ingar Bergum. Bjorn, are you out there? Bjorn Ingar Bergum. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Respond to us in the chat. Sounds Scandinavian, huh? isn't it? It does. All right, Bjorn, not only do you have a cool name, but you also have some cool socks. If you could just say thank you so much in the chat to us so we know you can hear us. And again, if you're, I don't know, Scandinavian, hopefully you're still awake. It's probably midnight there, but just respond in chat and we will contact you via good old Behance. Send you a Behance message. Congratulations, Bjorn. Don't worry, we give these away every, uh, for every session, if you will. So not to worry, you'll always have a chance. Cool, thank you. Chat was going pretty fast, so I couldn't see if you responded, but sweet. Thank you, Marks. Still getting some names in. Marks kind of switching up. Marks working. I like it. Child's play. But it's child's mm -hmm. p.ly because that's what we're doing these days. <laughs> yeah. Child's. Okay, cool. All right. I gotcha. Sweet. All right. Um, I'm gonna dive into this. I actually kind of like, while you do that, you're kind of dropping in some information. You're working on the profile page. That's perfect. I'm gonna get these narrowed down to like the top five. Um, oh, I lost some work on these. Oh, do you need this mouse pad? Oh, you have one? Yeah. You need one? No, 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 I've, I've, I, I always set up a mouse separate and I end up using my trackpad. It's still slow for some reason. It's is that weird? That is that does seem weird. Mm -hmm. That's okay. What is happening? Huh. So this will be just kind of um, really quick um, 
prototype type wireframe uh, of what we want to do and then we'll dive into the UI of it because I find it it's more fun and so I'll just well, I'll be just dropping things here I think well I have an opinion but I guess we'll let's hear it Uh, I will tell you right now, I'm getting it down to the top five. <sighs> Don't hate me, everyone, but I'll just switch to my computer real fast. This is what I have for our parenting app. Again, we just got to make a decision because this is we're only going to work on this one day. But basically, I have one, parental guidance, two, hold my hand, three, child's play, three, parently, four, kiddish, but I know which one I like. There's also parental guide, but I think we'll just keep this simple. Do you care which one we pick? No, no, you can choose. Well, oh, a parent. Ah, oh, Jeff, clever. <laughs> You're killing me. I think you should. Should make make it a list. Add it to the list. Play date's fun. Oh, I have two threes. Sorry, four, five. Oh, I can what see. What was it again? A, a, parent. a parent. I can see the URL. Let's a, do a parent. A parent. Lee. I love a parent. Let's just do a parent. I say we give it to Jeff. What I do you think. See. Yeah. A, a parent. Lee. Apparently. Uh, you just like came uh, in last minute. Uh, Jeff. Yes, I love it, my friend. That's what we're going with. It's going to be... Stole it from everybody else. A parent. Well, this is what happens. Oh, I love it. Good job. But the, the other ones are really good, too. Yeah, they, I mean, Wonder. honestly, like, all of this is just builds one off the other, you know? So, I mean, this is brainstorming. Who knows where this came from? But a parent is what we're going to go with, or apparently. Uh, either way, we like being clever like this and adding that in there. So that's what we're going with. Fantastic. Jeff, great job. Arturo approves. Hopefully this works. A parent, do you want to do a parent, uh, is, is it a, I mean, is a parent the name? I mean, it works on so many levels. It's an app, it says parent. And it, it, it's such a good opportunity for a logo as well. Yeah. So a parent, I, I think we'll do that's the name. Yeah. A parent is the name of the app. Thank you so much, Jeff. Feel free if you want to make a logo uh, for a parent, which is the app. It's all uh, a parenting app is what we're working on. And uh, feel free to get involved that way. That'd be fantastic. And yes, in an hour, it looks like Daniel's going to. Daniel Musa. Daniel, hello, my friend. How you doing? Good. Good. Right on. Where are you from, Daniel? Ukraine. Ukraine. Ah! Oh, <laughs> we are an oh, international God. audience, an international group. Awesome. Ukraine. We got Russia. We also have, uh, you know, again, you guys, where do you live, actually? In L.A. You're in L.A. Okay, cool. He's in Portland. Uh, we had... Um, Why do you speak Russian? Yeah. Oh, these two. And we'll have a conversation then. <laughs> so, international guests this week, which is really fun. Yeah. Um, again, fun. U Ukraine. <laughs> and you guys didn't play. <laughs> no, not at all. Russia, we'd like to think we did. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, Alice Scalfi, and I'm not saying her name right, but she's uh, actually Italian, and then Pablo's from Mexico. So, very cool. Interoptional <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> you guys are still being clever with the, with the verbiage. I'm into it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's super fun. So, Apparent is the name of the app. Feel free to make a logo. Just like a two-color logo. It could be one color. Uh, just kind of submit just send us a link somehow through Dropbox or some other way and I'm sure we'll get a hold of it. Uh, also curious as to where you're from. We have Cypress in the house, Ali, uh, Nairobi, awesome, Kenya, Joseph, good to have you here. Switching back to your screen. Okay, so um, 
uh, out of the UI kit and some other elements, you know, this is just give an idea of what we want to do. Um, this would be, this would kind of like be a rough uh, presentation. If I have easy access to the client, then I would, you know, jump in and say, oh, or if, it, if it's in house work, then we should say, hey, this is what I want to do. I want to have cards. So like for, for home feed, I want to have card view where you can just scroll. Uh, you can, in there you get all the curated activities, tips, whatever you want to put in it um, and ads later on. I like it. Um, and then uh, calendar, this would be a basic calendar where you can pick and then you can maybe mark some elements um, and then to be reflected on on the home feed uh, shop, you know, kind of basic carousel um, guide view uh, profile, you know, would be some information. Probably I would like to include some information about your kids as well. Um, and then um, settings, that's where, you know, location, all notifications and some preferences would go email, blah, 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 blah. Important stuff, but not so, uh, so uh, incredibly appealing. Um, so I uh, remember I mentioned, mentioned the chatbot. Uh, I don't know if we have time for that, uh, but I, I, I would just go through an idea, uh, you know, before home feed, I would have this uh, clean up kind of chat looking thing. Uh, something along those lines. Saying, hey, I'm a chat bot or whatever. Okay. Yeah. And then um, let's let's get some information from you or let's make this experience the most customizable or, or helpful, whatever. And then that, that would be question um, with a button. Well, most of the time you want to give um, some options to people. So let's make a few buttons. So this would be um, Uh, this is where the product manager comes in with all the logic of what kind of information you want to uh, you want to gather. But mm -hmm. yeah, we would go from there. Uh, but let's just give an example of uh, mm, this. How many kids you have? This would be the question here. Do you have any illustrations on paper that you that you'd have uh, before doing? This. So do you have like a storyboard of this at all, or are you just kind of storyboarding now? Yeah, I'm just storyboarding now. Just kind of like wireframing it out. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So Venezuela in the house. Welcome Germany as well. Uh, yes, and uh, this is the. I think within these two hours is the only time we uh, allow dad jokes. By the way, <laughs> since this, we are dealing with parents and stuff, and you are a dad, so uh, they're fully loud. I'll take any. <laughs> something like this and here you have probably a field and grace to answer your question we will take a look at some of these entries uh, as soon as we get a little break from whatever you do and looks like we have about you know you know seven or eight entries so good stuff for the social media yeah nice yeah so we have Thanks, lot nice to, to see those lot to review. Yeah, Jan uh, uh, Eric's not allowed to w make dad jokes because his he does them all the time. Every day is a dad joke day for Jan Eric. He's Good job, Juan. Juan has two dad jokes. What are those? I'm new to UX. I sock at it since we gave away socks. <laughs> All right, here they come, Juan. Juan's up to three now. Juan's entering Jan Eric territory with three dad jokes. <laughs> um, if you're if you're doing that, I can kind of click through some of these. Yeah, let's do, do that. All right, my friends. I'm just gonna switch to my computer. So 
When you submit it, it would be helpful if in the title was actually your name so I can give you a shout out. This is just Art UX. And just to recap really fast, this all comes from, oops, sorry, let me pause that. I know it's getting very Inception-like, the challenge tab. So the goal, social media app, use this dark UI style so most of them will seem dark to you. Diving into this first one, six screens, I can see down here at the bottom. User name, oh, let's check out Rebecca's. Thank you, Rebecca, for submitting this. The number of followers and posts, let's follow her as well. Oh, nice, there's a little highlight. And we can dive into your profile. So explore, profile, and then checking out someone else. A complete, a pretty complete app for uh, Rebecca. Uh, Lycos, social media app. I'm not sure what that means, but it works. Logging in, scrolling through. Let's go into Jane Doe. It's gonna go full screen here. Clicking on Jane, one of Jane Bo's, Jane Doe's, I guess, posts with comments. So this is what she posted, and here's the comments along with us. So with it. So great job. We can give it a little heart. Fantastic work. Good job. Um, Plantly was probably just missed the deadline for the previous stream, by the way, which was all about plants and everything. But let's take yeah. a look at this. Aloe vera. Checking out plants. Let's check out and favorite, favorite it. And again, go back home. Cool. Plantly. Next up. Grace Griffin, six screens. It's called Spooked. Ooh, a social app for paranormal enthusiasts. Ooh. Nice transition, sort of swiping up. Ooh, find potentially haunted locations in your area. It will work for Instagrammers. Cool. What's that? It will work for Instagrammers. Yeah. Shoals Theater, downtown Florence. Alabama. Ooh. Oh, record an EVP. So that's like recording the ghost sounds, I guess. So fun. And then the profile. So spooked. Great job on the name. Great job all the way around. I don't know who made this too. Who did Let's, Let's Meet, by the way? Because look at this fun logo. Lex, check it out. Oh, oh nice. Smoke. I like that. Isn't that cute? Mm hmm Great job. So let me know if you did Let's Meet. Would love to, again, give a shout out to yourself. We want to know who did this, too. Let's create your profile. Nice and clean. And uh, let's just escape out of this. Yeah, three screens. Perfect. You meet the requirements. Three screens, login, profile, and then uh, sort of like a list screen of posts. We have the meetings app. This is good. Let's set up a meeting. Uh, meeting detail, and then the profile. So cool, meetings app uses the theme. It doesn't look like the screens are linked together, but. Ooh, so this is what they did. Whoever did the design inspo, which this one might be the, oh yeah, this is kind of the update of one we did earlier. Uh, but when they published it, they said, um, they checked the box that says view in presentation mode. So that's why it's all black here. Going in, type what you want to find, serve up those results. Here's Christine's profile. Let's click to UX UI for her work. Go back home, great job. Design in, is inspo by Christina. Christina won earlier, I think. Wasn't that the first winner? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Kelsey, I apologize. 
but again, that was an update. Uh, this person already won as well, but we still want to give a shout out to them because they went through the hard work of creating something. So find your inspiration and get started by these areas. And uh, then you can scroll through. Cool. And again, we'll review more as they come through, but uh, thank you so much. Again, shout out to uh, great Grace Griffin for Spooked and then the Let's Meet app like their logo. So good job. I think you have about 10 more minutes to uh, get an entry in. It's interesting that you like, do you like seeing your desktop off to the side? Um, I oftentimes have images or something, so I like drag it there. Okay, gotcha. Um, and sometimes I have a second screen. Okay. And in this case, I have one. Yeah, one and with a little strip for mm -hmm. five. And you know, like in these cases, when I go back and forth, I can hit a keyboard. Um, and when I am in a full view, uh, it makes it complicated a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, whatever you're comfortable with, man. But um, pretty much, you know, this is kind of the idea. Chat, you get something, you type an answer, and then based on that, you have a different question, you have a couple options, you click, and by that kind of uh, gamified mm -hmm. way, you get some, you collect some information, uh, which would curate later on uh, everything for the home screen. And now home screen. Um, Again, we mentioned before, we, want, we talked about a lot of UX steps you usually go through, but just for this presentation, for this time, we're mm -hmm. skipping most of them. So diving into uh, UI, um, um, colors, yeah. we mentioned colors. Um, I had this one, like I have file just for myself with a bunch of combinations of different colors. Mm. And I collect them through, through the time. Sometimes it's like a photo I like. And mm -hmm. I like the images, and you know, there's the tools just to crop. Um, take the colors out. Take the colors out, yeah, just to see what works well. And just, you know, most of the time they just lay in there, but sometimes if I'm starting an app, I'm starting a project, I'm like, hey, what, what feels like fitting in this project? Um, as I mentioned, you know, those dope personas will affect, you know, so this is more feminine. But mm -hmm. if the client wants to focus, it'll be gender uh, neutral, that would go and kind of go away from that. And we would go with uh, something, uh, we could go with more orangey or um, you know, like these colors. Mm -hmm. Warm and cool, good combo, complimentary. Mm -hmm. uh, Denver Broncos. <laughs> yeah, from Denver. Uh -huh. No, that's good. Yeah. I like it. Seven minutes to the deadline, by the way. So grab the colors you want, do what you need to do. Uh, yeah, so Arturo Gomez, you could use Creative Cloud Libraries, might be another way to work. Um, just as an FYI. Mm -hmm. um, Let me check that out. So just so you know what uh, Arturo's talking about, like, here's Creative Cloud libraries that I have open. Obviously, I can have some of the colors, whatever. Have them saved, use them, you get the idea. Uh, as well as character styles, uh, photos, both vector and raster. So that's like a new thing. We actually didn't, like, initially we didn't have vector, but now we can bring in vector assets yeah. right in here. And when you bring something in, it's going to be taking a while for it to load but it actually says right here, hey, you know what? I'm linked back to that Creative Cloud library. Sorry, <laughs> man. <laughs> Anything for uh, a picture? Oh, yeah. What? what? So I'll stop. OK, so <laughs> nothing's happening here, everybody. So uh, that means it's linked, and then I can always break that link as well. Because uh, in this case, I might want to make it transparent, but I could break that link altogether. Uh, but the cool thing is, is like we can have this shared Creative Cloud library. So like once we get the logo in, or if we do this tomorrow or something, like we could have that logo in there. Maybe I kind of clean it up. Mm -hmm. I'll share that library with you, and then you can just drop it in. Yep. 
and uh, we can work that way. So that's fun. So we have all the colors. I like it. You could use color.adobe.com. Well, now those have really good combinations, especially if you like something, but then you need rela relating. Yes, it's like the that. wheel is, gives you a lot of functionality. Yeah. By the way, if you ever use Adobe Capture, um, you know you can capture colors. But in Adobe Capture, there's actually the color wheel that you can go in and modify and all that good stuff. Uh, Got the name in there. I like yeah. it. Kind of want to play around with the logo, but <laughs> like a true I designer, I won't. and you're fighting it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, like a true designer. I love it. Okay, so maybe before we can true design splash. Nah. Okay, we'll just dive in. So for the uh, card, card. What do we want to show in the card? If we have categories uh, of activity, so. Uh, this will be the title of type. Um, let's have let's be activity. Uh, uh, main title. Thank you. Yeah, Marks Wilkinson. Yeah, did. Marks, did I hear you say that this is your first time like logged in and chatting or something like that? Your first time logged in? Shout out if you are, uh, if it's your first time uh, on Adobe Live or if it's your first time chatting, let us know. We'd love to hear and just welcome you, essentially. Welcome Marks all newcomers. PG works on so many levels. Yeah, we like PG. I think it we was did. on. Mm, yeah, up but there. I mean, you can't beat a parent. A parent's pretty tough. Yeah, especially with apparently and mm -hmm. all of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice when one comes through and it's like, oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the one. Again, a couple minutes left to get your submissions in for the challenge today. And we will be picking a winner who will win one year of Creative Cloud. Let's just, we just appreciate you participating. Drop a little shadow. Um, looks like we have four more to review. Just to. On social? Yeah. While you do that, I might. I want to make sure these get their time in the sun, if you will. Yeah, yeah. I'll just start working with images a little bit. Sweet. I'm gonna dive into this. Thank you so much, uh, Stephen uh, Blodget. The anti friend app. Cool. Mm -hmm. Concept. I love it when they just do a uh, cool, cool. Add a little comment. Why not? Uh, about me, be my friend, the anti friend. Um, yeah, I'd kind of like to know more about this. You can be my friend, yes or no. Of course, yes. And there's all your friends listed there. So I'm into it. Steven, I'm into it. I like the anti-friend social media app. I just love the whole concept. Mm -hmm. I just like it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Aramis is our next one. Primary school. So this is probably for children. You can dive into the different grades. So we have Madam Stanley, grade one. And from there, you can actually create a team, which is really cool. And again, we can always go back. Let's click through all these screens. Oh, there we go. Cool. Aramis. Brian Blythe, social design called Hype. Nice green, click through. Nice use of the repeat grid. Click on this first one where they posted a photo. Uh, and you can 
I guess. Uh, see how many likes it has, add comments. Works for me. See it full screen. Oh, rotated. Clever. First one where they actually kind of showed a rotated uh -huh. view, which is really cool. Ah. Oh, you don't get anywhere. I with like that. it. Good job, and I like that uh, transition. I think they slowed it up, and they definitely did an ease out. And again, back. Uh, so that was like horizontal and a vertical. So great job. Brian Blythe, make sure we've touched upon all these screens. Also that grid view. Fantastic. All right, Moritz, Moritz Zust. Let's dive into this entry. Social media, check out who made this, or excuse me, the profile. Dive into individual photos. And of course, log in. Success. I'd say they're all successful. Yeah. All right, so that should conclude the entries for us today. And looks like Su, S-U-H, just got in an entry at the very last minute, so we will review that one. Uh, great job, switching back to my screen. You worked earlier, coming in last minute. Yeah, this, good job, like just, just under the wire. So S-U-H. Ooh, style share. I like this. Kind of going through personal style. Um, oh, there we go. Go back. There we go. Full screen. Ooh, look at this. Lex, check this out. They did little hot spots. It's right down here. Mm, like nice. this is one. Uh -huh. Click on the shorts and then close. Uh, and again, I'm just viewing full, full screen. screen. So a couple of these are little hot spots. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Good job. Yeah. Good job, uh, Sa, S U H. Let's kind of click through all these screens. Ooh, this is a nice one too. That one's designed well, like this part. So mm -hmm. even though this is there's six screens, this one is like a couple screens in one. Yeah, yeah. You see the whole scroll. Yeah. It it looks good with a semi-transparent mm -hmm. black. Yeah. They could even do a background blur. Here, yep, yeah. That would look pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, cap, shorts, uh, going into the feed. And uh, this was the first screen. So good job. So this would be social... Just social style sharing. Social style. Kind of. Nice. I like the sort of unique take on it. Yeah. So good stuff. So thank you so much for everybody entering. We'll get these now down, and I'm going to make Lex the bad guy by disappointing everybody except for one person. <laughs> so. When do you need to choose? Later? <laughs> uh, no, I kind of need to get them like kind of narrowed down okay, and good. maybe get like yeah. our top five or something. I need to look, really quick look into them. Oh, for sure, my friend. Faux show. I'm just going through uh, card views for the home. Uh, we have our categories. This would be area. Yeah, I almost have it like narrowed down to like sort of like the top two, quite frankly. Mm, you mixed my work. <laughs> um, but I, I want to make sure we review a lot more than that. So, all right, so that's looking pretty good, man. Ooh, I like that a little little gradient. Mm -hmm. no, make that text stand out. No, I need one on top as well into it. What's up, chat? How's everybody doing? How's how's Wes doing? Andrea, you guys ready? We're going to dive into some of these, uh, you know, define our 
winner. And thank you so much for helping us with this app. This is looking good. I really like those colors, by the way. Those The the color of the word apparent actually goes well with the photos. That's what I was, uh, I kind of, I knew pictures in advance. Oh, uh, okay. Because those are uh, those are from my friends um, from Europe, actually. Both of them. One is traveling. Um, so you know, oh, those are pictures of your friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Look uh, at you have such stylish friends. Look at that. Look at that picture. They have big Instagram accounts. So. Oh wow. Uh, I, what I wanted to show is um, normally, obviously, you know, this is a little different. Um, I would go. <laughs> To get my images, um, Adobe Stock, one destination. Um, mm -hmm. Not for images, you know, uh, for the icons. We didn't dive into icons yet. Mm -hmm. But this is a great place. Yeah, and totally we can cool. Just say... uh, you do have filters. Click on the side on filters. Mm -hmm. And then you can do like vectors. Or Vector, whatever. here we go. That's what I was looking for. I like that, like, so there's what, 280 flat icons? What? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. So you can find, you definitely can find whatever you're looking for. So feel free, like if you're entering in the challenge, feel free to use Adobe Stock, like watermarked images, whatever you need to. But, mm -hmm. yeah, so. And the other day I was reading through the blog about the update that you can use the watermark image, but then from inside of mm -hmm. XD, just purchase the license right away. Yeah, super cool. So yeah, it's awesome, license, license images. Yeah. So for this, I just wanted, you know, just use images. Um, so I just took it from their Instagram. I know that they, they won't get mad. <laughs> Don't normally do it, you know. You have mm -hmm. to have um, permissions for your images. But just because, so this is actually my son two weekends ago. He was learning to snowboard. Wow. And a couple more images. Yeah, photos make a big difference. Yeah. So Turo, by the way, you could use, uh, you know, do an uh, Adobe Stock save preview is what it would be, and it'd give you the watermarked version. That's fine. Like use that in your in your app is what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to have all these images paid for if you're submitting for the design the challenge. It would be expensive submission. <laughs> yeah, it would be. It'd look good, but yeah. That's looking good. Fantastic. Do you want to help me pick a winner? Let's do it. All right. So, um, up to your screen. Yeah, we'll switch to it. I have I have quite a few in here, but let's just kind of switch gears and kind of just refresh our memory for some of these that may or may not make it. Mm -hmm. So some of these, like this one, might not. This is kind of tough. Like black on gray yeah you yeah. know some of that is kind of tricky even that's kind of hard to see especially if you consider that's a mobile app uh but still fantastic job good photo mm -hmm. yeah so i like the use of the tabs on top mm -hmm. tabs are are nice as well uh, and again social media app we're kind of keeping that in mind there's five screens for this one lycos um diving yeah. into images some of this our skater page so yeah very cool we like spooked just like I honestly from an idea standpoint I think this is really cool right um, I, I'm kind of unsure about some of the coloring like it gets awfully muddy in there and mm -hmm. this green maybe isn't the same as that green so design wise I'm kind of hesitant but otherwise I like it as a concept Let's Meet was also fun because they did a great job with this fun logo so again these yeah. are just shout outs that were given to everybody who did just a fantastic job uh, for these. And they didn't have a lot of time, so another props. No, exactly. Yeah, they didn't have a lot of time. So shout out to those three. We kind of get down to these three as well, which kind of, you know, two might be our runner up. Shout out to this one again. A lot of work going into the screen. Want to know if it's your first time designing an XD? Like, let let us know. Uh, um, is it zoomed in? What's that? Is it zoomed in? Uh, the ratio? No. What, what screen ratio would it be? Let me just make sure. Yeah, no, it's maybe it's, it's maybe, the it's a, size. maybe it's a tablet. Yeah, maybe it's supposed to be more like this size. So it did kind of shrink it down, but now it's you know this is the size it should be at. So I'm viewing it at. Um, so yeah, that's good. That's good. Questions about the font? Then mm -hmm. these two. Like if I had to pick two, I think we're kind of at these two for the potential uh, winners. So. Uh, again, starting with this one right here. This mm -hmm. is Brian Blythe's social media app hype. 
and uh, I think this was cool because as you go into it, it had this mm-hmm. this view, and then it had these nice transitions. So this yeah. is the first time we've seen this, which is really cool. So uh, shout out to you, Brian. You did a great job. And then also, oop, sorry. Ugh. Ugh. This one here. Style share. Mm-hmm. You know, just designed really well, still uses the the UI kit, like more than meets the eye. Just designed really well still, yeah, I yeah. think. And then it has this these fun hot spots. You know? And images are nice and clean. Yeah, it images works. are yeah, totally nice and clean. Like this is top notch right yeah, here. Yeah, I, li- I, like I like the gray grady and how it grayed it graded out on, on some of the bottom ones. Mm-hmm. It's so easy on the eyes, mm-hmm. you know? So that one's really fantastic. Today look, that should be Agonias? It might be. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I just kind of copied and pasted the names. But this is everybody who's actually submitted. So a big shout out to Deepak, Siros, Evanash, Grace, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Clemens, Christina. <laughs> Christina entered earlier. Alexander, Stephen, Kathy, Brian, Blythe, Moritz, and Agonia. Good job, guys. did an excellent job. So I have it narrowed down to... These two is what I have. Hmm. We have left, we have right. Audience, what do you think? Let me know. <laughs> oh, Lycos is social backwards. Oh, Arturo, social. Oh, slow oh. clap. I don't know. It's so interesting. So good. So we have left, we have right. I'm going to bring up the, the, the hottest screens of these two is kind of like when we go into this. Mm-hmm. That's super cool. And then I think for this one, like this one also has like these little hot spots. Hot spots. Okay, so let's see the first one, our oh, left le- left one. Mm-hmm. We really like use of colors and photography is good. Um, mm-hmm. mm, they wor- it works. Uh, one thing I wish I would, I would see is some kind of engagement because it's a social. Mm. So either, you know, commenting or liking or sharing maybe. Oh, well, it, there is yeah. there, there is some. Yeah. So, oh, I think it's like sharing here and then it gets into the purchasing aspect after you share, I think is what's oh, okay. happening. Okay. So maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it's just different uh, oh, business Oh, similar. Purposes. Ooh, what? I, yeah, I, I like how it's thought through. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this one's a really good one. Yeah. Okay. About this one. Oh. Thing is so good too, and the turning, good images, uh, icons on, on the bottom. I uh, have a little uh, yeah, I question can. about that, um, but this works and really clever. Um, and I saw you use before Apple, I think, with iOS 11, where the image and blur background yeah it works yeah you know because a lot of the time with social it's just it's awkwardly positioned or sometimes mm-hmm. it's not vertical or horizontal or whatever so they worked um around those people nicely. say i'm just kind of reading down left right left 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 both <laughs> uh Okay. Yeah, I kind of have some issues about, like, I almost want to see, that, like, why is this rounded? Uh, yeah. You know, and some, like, this doesn't really seem like it matches as much. I almost want this to be I'll, semi-transparent I'll, black. Or I would get rid of it or uh, just, in general. Or just get rid of it. I, I, I'm pre- well, I'm pretty sure white should work on that uh, text. I, I would play around with that. Uh, and also just uh, uh, the previous screen where everything is uh, horizontal. Horizontal. There's a lot of jumping from horizontal to, I think, square. Next screen mm-hmm. was square. And so it, it might be an issue later on. So when like when you think about what kind of media is going to be used, mm-hmm. um, you know, think of the placement as well. So a good example would be uh, Pinterest mm-hmm. and how they agree. It basically adjusted to any um, any resolution mm-hmm. or like uh, ready, any positioning. And so maybe this would be kind of the, um, yeah. you know, way around around that. But overall, I really like the design. Um, I think I would have to go with left. I would too. Um, All right. So I agree. 
left it is. Congratulations. Uh, we can pull up your name as soon as I switch screens, but looks like left wins. Good job. Uh, looks like most of chat agrees. Again, Victor says both. Gladstone says left, so that works for you. Diana, you like the left one as well? Well, the fact that Ananda. both of them made it on top already means, yeah, both of them are really good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, these, we were kind of torn between the two. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will... Oh yeah, that is Agonia Sa. Agonia, congratulations, you are our winner. So, a round of applause, everybody. Say good Woo! job, thank you, oh, that's great. And again, here it is. You win one year Creative Cloud, we'll contact you. Uh, again, your name was Agonia Sa. So, hopefully you're still in chat, let us know. Say thank you, give them a shout out. Fantastic. Yes. Good job. Good come. job. Thumbs up. And winding down. That's good. We have about 10 minutes left or less. And now you have your own little design challenge, I can see. Yeah. <laughs> right? You're like, now I have to do work. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Oh, you're making a little house, a little home button? Yep. <laughs> Adorable. Um. Let me, I kind of want to show a couple. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show some free resources too. Good. Good. Right? Because you're making a house. I can I can show you two free resources really fast. And Ananda, you're right. Agonia did kill it. So congrats. Congratulations to everybody who submitted. It's good stuff. So XD had an update today. Illustrator had an update, InDesign had an update, Photoshop had an update, like all the apps had an update. Exciting day. Uh, so yeah, super fun. So uh, I'm just gonna switch to my screen real fast. Uh, so if you have Illustrator, both Illustrator and Photoshop and InDesign and After Effects, like they all come with like free templates to get started. But I think it's fun to take a look at uh, Illustrator because in Illustrator, you can go into, say, for instance, mobile, get mobile assets, and you'll see there's these icons. So you can get into this UI icon set right in here. So again, number of uh, various icons that you could use available in Illustrator. And also under web, there's even more screens and cool line artwork as well. Uh, so hopefully everybody sees that. And uh, I also want to point this out. Check this out. This is really cool. People might not be aware of this either. Um, right over here. Uh, this Adobe, the desktop Adobe Creative Cloud app. If you go into market, so sure, if we can sync files, we can go to market. And right here we can search on like home, if that's what you're looking for. There we go. And then we get you know, these little guys. And what I can do is I can save this to, you know, save it to an app, or excuse me, save it to a Creative Cloud library, uh, share it with Lex after I maybe do some tweaks, mm -hmm. and then he can use it. Yeah, and then, so. you know, me just creating this this icon, it's uh, not something always happens. Mm -hmm. I like it, wow, that's good. I just turned around and wow, that looks good. So, so a lot of the times, uh, you know, iconography, same as typography, it's a big subject in itself. Uh, but I like either um, looking for the icons, which I like the style, and I want, you know, do I want out outline, or do I want more field? If I find something I like, as you said, I might tweak them. Mm -hmm. You know, some might be looking a little too sharp or not too roundy as I want. Just work around those uh, and have kind of a customized version. For those, uh, just for the matter of experiment, uh, I went around, you know, obviously this is really, uh, really fast ones. We have, we have a calendar. I like that when you when you like say subtract from another shape, it doesn't it doesn't delete the any vector lines, mm -hmm. which is cool. Any sort of boolean. Uh, so Ananda, where I got that in Illustrator, is you just go File, New. Uh, as long as you don't have Classic uh, Start Screen, 
or open screen in preferences. As long as you have the unchecked, it'll give you all those. And by the way, if you hit the go button at the bottom, you can actually view all those assets on Adobe Stock. You can uh, find those free assets. Yeah, Font Awesome is fun. Uh, Arturo, where did you get the keyboard for iPhone? Did you have a keyboard for iPhone? Uh, yeah. That's looking good, by the way. I like it. I like it. Uh, there it is. So easiest way. I thought I'd done, done it prior, um, mm -hmm. but if you click on Apple iOS, it leads you to the website. And right here, you download it for WXD. And then you get to this folder. Um, fonts right there. Mm -hmm. And um, guidelines for, the, uh, for iPhone X and for the main one. That's what it looks like. Everything you need for um, iPhone related kind of iOS stylized. Sorry, sorry. Thanks. Oh. I might need some drink later too. My throat is going thirsty. I'll dry. And so, yeah, um, who was asking? Sorry, I missed the name, but you can find everything here. It's so nice. And a lot of that's created with like repeat grid and stuff. I mean, it's all sort of native to yeah. uh, XD, which is certainly nice. I found this specific, specifically. Oh, thank you. Um, was, that's the, the iPhone X, Spe like especially helpful um, because nowadays, like oftentimes I, I start or I transition a lot of the designs to X screen. And as you know, it's, it's different. Um, so you have to consider more things, but here they cover quite a bit of a, of a you know, keyboard. You ask for a keyboard, here we go. If you design for iPhone X, keyboard oh, is already adjusted. Oh, guys. What other vectors? Yeah, kind of. Uh, they have to be a little bit maps, I'm sure. Nah, they yeah, I know it. Um, that, but, they're not. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, it's wild. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you can find those um, pretty easy. And same with Material Design uh, for uh, Android. Google Material Design, you'll, you can find it there. Yeah, very and cool. Microsoft much. Yeah, it's looking good. Look at you, just chipping away at your little a little calendar icon. Uh, it's pretty adorable. I get just stuck on that. <laughs> um, yeah, so icons would be this. Uh, I, I think I'll I'll get some time. I know we have just eight minutes left. Um, Even less. We probably have like three. Oh or yeah. So. Oh yeah. That's right. Three minutes. So um, come back tomorrow. I have more finalized version for some of that because we'll see. Me, I said we will redesign different app tomorrow and that's what I want to do. So I might just take my time. What, whatever you want to do. Because we could even continue this if you want to or shift gears. It's totally up to you. Because this is like, I feel like we're finally getting to a point where we could really see some yeah, yeah, like progress is. from screen to screen. And we have, I mean, we spent all that time with a cool name. People might have submitted a logo. We'll have to check on that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. You know, let, let's, keep, okay. let's keep the redesign for the last day. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, let's continue. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And if any logos will come in, um, yeah, we'll we would love snag to. those and make it happen. So, uh, but Gustav brings up a good question: Would you use XD for web design as well as app design? Uh, not that I would. I am. Um, I use it for for all the web stuff as well, just because all the prototyping tools work just the same. Um, like everything you need, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, well, if you start new. Here we go, it gives you option. You start um, your screen. Perfect. I would, yeah. or, or new artboard, you can do responsive, iPad. Yeah. Another, uh, another one for mobile. And so like you have all the thing, all the yeah. things. So I don't see yeah. why wouldn't you. That's good. So yeah, thank you so much, Arturo. Thank you everyone, uh, Gustav, Levy. Uh, Alex, thank you so much, especially to Lex. It's the very first time <laughs> live streaming with us, my friend. How do you feel? It's a lot of fun. 
Yeah, it's good times, huh? It's I'm, kind of like intense because we're watching you work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to that part, but uh, and talking at the same time because it's usually it's like. Well, how often do you kind of talk through everything you do? You're exactly right. Unless uh, you're way too tired. All right, so we have logos that were sent to us. Not to worry, we'll include those tomorrow. So that's a great idea. Lex, hopefully we'll keep you around. You're going to come back tomorrow, right? Absolutely. We're going to lock the door. <laughs> Lex Valashvili. And up next, we have Daniel Musa from Ukraine. We're international today. Super fun to have you and Michael Shays. So stick around, everybody. See you Thank in a minute. Thank you. See you tomorrow. We see you tomorrow, yeah.